The Mercedes SL class generation that debuted in 1963 had a tough act to follow. These models had to be sporty, but elegant, comfortable, yet fast, with that typical Mercedes-Benz quality and reliability. The 280 SL was all that and more, and today, as a classy car, it still is. It acquired the nickname Pagoda for its concave hardtop. Mercedes-Benz presented its new SL series at the Geneva International Motor Show as the successor to both the legendary 300 SL and the 190 SL. Known internally by its chassis code W113, it was no domesticated race car, but more of a sporty two-seater for everyday use. Over the eight years the series was produced, there were three different models. First, the 230 SL, then the 250 SL interim model, and ultimately this one, the 280 SL. The 280's 170 horsepower carried it past the magic 200 kilometer an hour mark. The Pagoda was a hit, especially in the United States. More than half the cars produced were sold to America. The ladies were also charmed by this easy-to-handle roadster. Another reason for its appeal was the new design language. The W113 heralded the demise of the Baroque contours of its Mercedes forerunners and the advent of sportier masculine lines, while preserving Mercedes' typically genteel elegance. Its look was thoroughly modern, but not trendy. The hardtop was standard on every SL. The roof's nickname, Pagoda, quickly evolved into a term of endearment for the whole car. In 1963, the new Mercedes drew a lot of attention. A young French designer, Paul Brac, created the new look and Mercedes design language for the decade to come. Mercedes expert Malte Dringenberg explains that Paul Brock went for graceful lines, and what he designed was very nearly a small car compared with the model's predecessors, the 300 SL and the 190 SL Roadsters. The 280 SL is a very compact vehicle, but has its own unique style that's light and breezy. With the top up or down, the convertible cut a good figure. Its interior sacrificed none of Mercedes' trademark opulence and comfort. The optional four-speed automatic transmission proved very popular with buyers. The original car in the series, the SL230, featured a 150 horsepower direct injection engine. For a Mercedes, that was a very sporty, high revving motor. Even if Mercedes gave these SL models a hint of sportiness, nowadays connoisseurs appreciate the Pagoda more for leisurely drives and outings in the country. Now a Pagoda in good condition will fetch at least 60,000 euros. The later 280s were the best engineered. Malta Dringenberg says engine performance is comparable with all the different SL versions, the 230, the 250, and this 280. They were all fitted with six-cylinder engines that were refined over the years, but he feels there's not a huge difference.
the 280 SL Pagoda may not have been as exciting as its Italian and American competitors, but it was robust and reliable, just what you'd expect from a Mercedes.